Welcome to the Narrabut of Jones Bill. Hope you guys are very well. Thanks for joining me. Well, as you can clearly see, nothing's changed. Now, I was going to start by doing some of the electrics with you guys, um, but you're not going to believe what turned up today. The shower tray. So, the plan, like many things with boats, has changed and it's now going to be the shower install so that's good I'll show you how well what I need to do um, I've had to get some things uh, obviously for the shower and obviously these all came here I didn't go anywhere so what have I got I've got a pipe here for the whale gulper so this will go from the shower tray bit which is somewhere um, and we'll go through this up to the whale gulper which you've seen before i've had to buy some attachments and things as well and whilst i was that whilst they were here i also got them to find something for my galley sink so they've done that so that's good um so right i've got to get my head around the shower thing because, as I mentioned before, this is a caravan one, uh, the quality is uh, dubious in parts, shall we say. So um, I will talk you through what I've got to do with it. But before that, I got a delivery in the post today. Unexpected delivery in the post today. Um, and unlike some other unexpected things, I'm thinking this one will be nice. So let's have a look. Um, I don't think it's got any name on it mini circular oh bloody hell jeez that's good that'll really come in handy oh god oh, guys you guys are amazing that'll really come in handy what else is this? oh a uh, block plane yeah that would also really come in handy oh honestly thank you amazing really useful really good so right okay let's crack on with this shower you'll see I've had to change the position of it because I need to the the, the gubbins to take the for the shower drain needs to be in between the two um, steel battens running down the boat so I've had to reposition it slightly. Shouldn't cause too much of a problem though. So I'm just going to make a hole in this and then mark out a larger area. I'm pretty sure there's no bricks under this. These are just square cuts I'm doing, so I'm just using a standard A111. Right, so that can sit under there. That'll take a bit for the shower. And then we got that pipe. To there, go underneath the floor and then back up to here. So what I need is another access point in the floor, kind of where I'm sitting. So there's a baton there and there's a baton there, so I've got to be in the middle of those two and it's got to be about here. Now the idea is, let's see the gold around.
right, I've run out of paintbrushes, so I'm just gonna put some waterproof PVA just around all of this. So it's nice and sealed. It's a bit of a mucky way of doing it, if I'm honest, but it needs to get on. Again with this little one here. Okay, so I need to start building the shower enclosure and how I'm going to have it because obviously it's quite a small enclosure, it's only a 70 by 70, which is okay for the feet and the legs, obviously, but higher up around the waist and elbows and stuff, I'm going to want a bit more room. Obviously, I can't have any room here because that's where the doors are that's where a wall is but here I can certainly use some of this space for movement um, so what I'm planning on is having a wall coming up here going across to there and then another one up to there just so I've got a bit more space in the actual shower cubicle Right, so I've now finished the frame of the kind of the back of the shower and what's going to take the back of the toilet. And I'm going to put some boarding on here now. This piece here needs to be a long piece because that's going to be taking one of the uprights of the shower cubicle. But I've put in the little box now, so I'm going to put a piece of six mil ply on there nine mil on the top six mil on the side there six mil on the back there and then uh kind of put that together and then i can get myself my uh, tile adhesive whack all that down there and then put the shower tray down that will be the plan and then maybe get that bit on that upright and then the other upright goes up here. So you'll see this works quite well. Obviously the frame of the shower will be here. So if I'm standing right at the back of the shower, I've actually got quite a bit of room. This bit here, that's why I've kind of wanted this bit to be open, because if it wasn't, I really wouldn't have that much room. By the time you've got like, you know, a thing on there, there's really not that much room. So that's why I've got this here, I might have the shower mounted somewhere around there, but that's going to be much, much more comfortable to use. I've got an area there to store stuff in the shower, like shampoo or whatever. So yeah, that's good. And there is something called an offset quadrant you can get, which is where one side of it is longer. So you'd have a 70 going there, and then that would be a 90, or a 90 along here, and then that would be a 70. But the reason I can't have that here is because it would have occupied too much space. If it was, it, it would have only gone that way, in which case the end of it would have been there and it would have gone up and I and where the ceiling comes in too low, I wouldn't have been able to get the 1750 height of the shower enclosure in. So that's why I've gone for a 700 by 700. Well, like most things, I was kind of making that shower up as I was going along. Um, which I'm quite happy with how it's worked out. I'd always realised that there is going to be quite a restricted kind of space in order to uh, in order to wash. And certainly once you've got the gubbins on the wall hanging out, you know, the hot and cold tap and the, the thermostatic valve and things like that, um, it eats into the space a bit. So having that recess where elbows and bits and pieces like that can be is good. So I'm happy with that. 
uh, although it means that upright, the tall one going up, means now that I'm gonna have an issue getting the ceiling in. I've had a play with a piece of five mil ply. I can actually kind of squeeze it in, and but I think I'm gonna see if I can put the ceiling in before I put the shower enclosure in. Um, I've got some wood here for the ceiling, so I'm gonna give that a go possibly tomorrow morning. Um, and obviously drill the holes out for the lights and for the mushroom vent. But as soon as the timber's in, then then that's that that that's a job done. And it doesn't matter about lining the other ones up because the bathroom ceiling was always going to be kind of a standalone piece because it's in between two bulkheads. So I'll um I'll, I'll I'll probably need to get cracking with that first thing tomorrow. Um, I'm a bit annoyed though because I didn't have any tile adhesive, which means I couldn't put down the shower tray, which means that all of the glass for the shower enclosure is laid out here along the long bit of the dinette, which means I've got to spend this evening just on this bit here. And that's where I sleep. So I don't know what I'm gonna do about this tonight. I'm gonna to have to move that, but there's no real place easy to rest all that glass. So, <coughs> and it's curved. So I kind of, I'll have, to, I'll have to come up with something anyway, but that's a bit irritating. Um, these are the skin fittings which need to go in tomorrow as well for the bathroom. I've got three. These two here are braided for water hoses. You'll see there at the top. So that will take the two water ones. I've got one for the wash hand basin and one for the whale gulper from the shower. And this one here is for the toilet. Now that's not water, that's just air. So it doesn't need to have that braided bit. It's just got a screw thread. Um, and that'll be fine. So I'll get some hose to put on there. Actually, if anyone knows where you can buy hoses, that'll be ideal. Because I'm really struggling to get to get hoses. Someone said Machine Mart, but I went there and they said, no, we don't do hoses. So um, anyway, so if you do know, that'd be really useful. Um, these ones, the, all of these skin things need to be drilled through. Um, it's not that much. It's not, you know, it's not, it's not a huge job to do that. Uh, but luckily there is someone here on the wharf that's going to do it for me. He's got a mag drill, which I've never really seen before. I didn't, didn't really know about him. But it's a massive magnet with a drill on it, which you, know, you, you, you affix that to the side of the boat and then the, uh, the bit does the cutting. Um, and obviously you get a really good cut with that. So there's four of those to do on the upright bits of the hull. And then on the front, on the bow, I've got to get that one put in, which I was not looking forward to because that's quite a big hole to get that in. So, um, and he's going to use another drill for that one. So I'll catch all that tomorrow. That'd be quite interesting to see all that, how, how all that works. Um, but what we do is we mark it from the inside out. So you pile it with a five mil bit going out from the inside. That gives us the, that gives us the, the, the center of the hole, obviously. Then we go from the outside in, and then from the inside, I've got to cut away the timber in order to get the, uh, in order to get the, you know, to, to tighten the nuts on and everything like that and get the pipe in and things. So that will be the plan for that, but we'll do that tomorrow. And obviously we'll get some tile adhesive and get the uh, shower tray down. I'm also tiling the inside of the shower, the two inside walls, partly because I didn't want to spend the money on aqua panels. They're really expensive for what they are. Um, and they take up a bit more room. So I'm going for tiles. Um, so I'll see if I can get them tomorrow and really kind of crack on more with the bathroom. That's the plan. Um, and then once that's done, then electrics, but bathroom first. Um, to whoever that was that sent me that, that, that package earlier, thank you so much. That's really kind. Um, you haven't, well, so if you, if, if you want to make yourself known, that'd be great. If not, fine, just anonymous, uh, bless you, really kind. Uh, but already used, um, already used the the plane, so that's come in handy. Um, so I'm going to carry on with a bit more of the bathroom this evening, and then tomorrow see where we are with it. Hope you're all very well. Take care. Until then, bye bye.